My name is Holly and I'm the children's librarian here at Alamosa Public Library in Alamosa, Colorado, and this is Storytime Online. It's time to share a story, a story, a story. It's time to share a story, a story today. But first, I want to show you our project pack for our summer reading program this week. Our project pack says making magic. And our theme for this week is imagine your magical story. So inside you'll find two projects. One is a crafting project where you can make your own magic wand. And the other is to make a pretend magical potion. So I had planned to show you this magic making potion kit in your project pack. But when I got set up to do story time online, someone set up this project for me. Look, here's all of our ingredients, just like in your project pack. In your project pack, you'll find this vial of stinky bile. It's not really, that's just pretend. It's really a safe ingredient called white vinegar. You'll also find this jar of powdered star, but it's not really. It's another safe ingredient that's called sodium bicarbonate. That's what scientists call it, but we call it baking soda. You can find both of these safe ingredients uh, in most kitchens, uh, but when you mix them together, you're going to see what happens. I just want to make sure that you know that when you do a science experiment like we're going to do today, when you mix two things together, always do it with a grown-up and with grown-up permission. Because some things are safe to mix together and some things are not safe to mix together. These two things are safe to mix together. But make sure you do your science experiment, your magic potion making experiment with your grown-ups, okay? Since I'm a grown-up, I can do it here in the quiet library by myself. We really miss you here. So let's do a cool experiment together. In your project pack, you'll also find your uh, potion recipe. And I happen to have one right here. I wonder who set this up for me. Maybe it was one of the other librarians got our bile all ready for us, our vial of bile our sodium bicarbonate, I mean our jar of powdered star, and also our cauldron. It's just a bowl. And our potion making recipe. A recipe just tells you what to do. It tells you how to put things together to make something else. So this recipe says bubbling potion recipe. I'm going to read it. It says ingredients. Those are the things that we're going to mix together to make something new. One vial of stinky bile. One jar of powdered star. Instructions. Pour the vial of stinky bile into the cauldron first. Next, carefully open the jar of powdered star and sprinkle it onto the bile while waving a magic wand in a circle. Watch it magically bubble and boil. Sounds cool, let's do it. So first, pour the vial of stinky bile into the cauldron. This is our vial of stinky bile. I guess I should unwrap it. Wow, whoever put my ingredients here for me, made it very fancy. Let me pull out the cork. Ready? And I'm gonna pour it into my pretend cauldron. Ready? Oh, smells funny. Wow. And next it says, to, next, Carefully open the jar of powdered star and sprinkle it onto the bile while waving your magic wand in a circle. Let's see what happens. Ready? 
could you get out your magic wand? Just like this. And wave it in a circle. Excellent, thank you. Ready? I'm gonna pour in the powdered star into my cauldron that has the stinky bile. Here it goes. <gasps> wow. I've got to show you what it's doing. Check it out. Can you hear it? It's starting to bubble and boil. I'll show you. <gasps> oh, and there's sparkles too. Whoa! Cool potion. Hey, but I see something in there. Hi. You guys, there's, there's something in my cauldron. I mean, something that wasn't there before. Oh boy. It's a wet piece of paper. Guess what? Oh, I better be careful with it. I think this is a clue from our friend Larry, the library gnome. He must have put these ingredients here for me to do this magic potion and waved a little bit of extra gnome magic on it and made his clue for this week appear little stinker. I guess he wants me to read it to you. It says, Pete's a pie and not a cake. His slices have dices. He bakes what he takes. Hmm. So Larry must be somewhere where he takes something to bake it. Bakes what he takes. Not a cake. Hmm. Something with slices. It says, Pete's a pie. Who's Pete? Thought we were talking about Larry. Hmm. Well, I hope you can figure it out. What am I going to do with this now? My potion is ruined. I guess I'll just Clean it up. That was pretty cool, the way my powdered star and my vial of bile reacted together. When we mix vinegar and baking soda together, it bubbles and fizzles like a potion. But remember, Always do your science experiments with a grown-up's permission and with a grown-up there with you to help keep you safe. Have fun mixing these two safe ingredients at home when you pick up your project pack. And if you don't live here in the San Luis Valley and you can't come pick up a project pack from Alamosa Public Library, you can ask your grown-ups, can I make a special pretend magic potion with vinegar and baking soda? Let's see. There are all kinds of stories about magical creatures, magical things, magic wands in our library. So I brought just a few to show you. And you can check all of these books out from Alamos Public Library. Let's see, we've got books about a magic wishbone. We've got magic boots. We've got friendly witches. Witches who are not so friendly, but don't worry, it has a happy ending. We've got sweet little animals doing magic tricks for one another. This one's about a magical forest. Look out for the tree. This one's got a tree, but it's a tree that grew from a book seed. That's pretty magical. This book is magic because it tells a story without any words. And believe me, it's pretty magical. This book has animals that disappear. That's magic. 
There's also a, a really popular story that's about uh, a kid who finds out that he's a wizard and then he goes to wizarding school and he meets all these great wizard friends, but there's a lot of danger and they learn a lot of uh, spells. I think it's called um, Larry Porter, something like that. Yeah, Larry Porter, sounds about right. It's a really good book, you should check that one out. But today we're going to read this story. There's not a magic wand, there's no magic potion, but there's something magical in it. It's called Anansi and the Magic Stick. Hmm. Anansi is a character who is in lots of stories that originated in Africa. And you'll see lots of animals that live in Africa in this story about Anansi and the Magic Stick. This was written by Eric A. Kimmel and illustrated by Janet Stevens. Oh boy. Anansi and the Magic Stick. It's like a pretty dirty backyard. It was a fine bright day. All the animals were working, working, working in their gardens. All except Anansi the spider. Anansi lay in his front yard, fast asleep. Do you see him? Warthog, lion, and zebra came walking by. Look at Anansi, he is so lazy, said Zebra. His house is falling apart, his yard is full of trash. He wouldn't get out of bed if his house caught fire. Anansi is so lazy, moss grows on his head, Warthog added. Their noisy laughter woke Anansi. Be quiet, I am not lazy at all, I am thinking. My mind is working hard, Anansi tapped his forehead. The animals laughed even harder. Anansi walked away. I don't have to listen to you. I'll find another place to sleep. I mean, think. Anansi started walking, walking, walking down the road. Before he knew it, he had walked all the way to Hyena's house. Hyena lay in his hammock, fast asleep. His house was neat and tidy. His yard was beautifully planted with shrubs and flowers. What is Hyena's secret? Anansi wondered. No one ever sees him working, yet his house always looks beautiful. I need to find out how he does it. Anansi hid behind a bush, watching and waiting. Do you see him? Hyena woke up. He noticed a pile of dust on the path. He spoke to a stick leaning against a post. Hocus pocus, magic stick, sweep this dust up, quick, quick, quick. As Anansi watched, the magic stick swept away the dust. When the dust was gone, Hyena said, abracadabra, canabra, cadabra. Down fell the stick. Hyena leaned it back against the post and went inside his house. That's just what I need, said Anansi. If I had that magic stick, my house would be as beautiful as hyenas. No one would laugh at me again. Anansi grabbed the magic stick and ran off as fast as his legs could go. He soon became tired. Why am I carrying this stick? It can carry me. Anansi said the magic words just as he remembered them. Hocus pocus, magic stick. Carry me home now, quick, quick, quick. The stick picked up Anansi and carried him along. When they arrived at Anansi's house, he said, Abracadabra, cadabra. Kapom! The magic stick dropped Anansi on his head. Ow! Anansi cried. Next time, put me down gently, stick. There's lots of work to do. Get rid of this trash first. Anansi said the magic words. Hocus pocus, magic stick. Clean my yard up, quick, quick, quick. The magic stick whirled round and round. It gathered all the trash and threw it over the fence into Lion's yard. Abracadabra, cadabra, down fell the stick. Good job, stick. Next, 
my house. Hocus pocus magic stick, fix my house up quick, quick, quick. The magic stick whirled round and round. Wood and nails flew through the air. Bright pink paint splashed over the fence as Zebra came walking by. Anansi's house gleamed. So did Zebra. He was bright pink too. Abracadabra, cadabra, down fell the stick. Now for my garden, Anansi said. Hocus pocus magic stick, plant and water. Quick, quick, quick. The magic stick whirled round and round. It dug up the dirt, throwing the weeds into warthog's tomato patch. It planted seeds in neat straight rows. Then it began to water them. Anansi yawned. <sighs> Watching all this work makes me tired. I need a nap. Keep watering, stick. Don't stop. Anansi lay down and went to sleep. <clears throat> the magic stick kept watering, watering, watering. The vegetables grew bigger, bigger, bigger. <clears throat> the water flowed across Anansi's yard and out the gate, a trickle at first, then a stream, then a flood. All of Zebra's pink paint came off. Then a mighty river. Do you notice these people? He's got a pencil behind his ear, and she's got paintbrushes in her teeth. I wonder who they are. Help! The animals cried. Help! cried Anansi, waking up to find himself afloat in the middle of a raging river. He tried to make the water stop, but he couldn't remember the magic words. Canabra, catabra, cadabra? Calabra, cazabra, cavabra? Cabra, camabra, cababra? Nothing happened. The water kept flowing. Help! cried Anansi. Do you remember the magic words to make the stick stop? Hyena came drifting by. Hello, Anansi, he said. It's a nice day to be on the water. By the way, I'm looking for a magic stick. Have you seen it? A funny looking stick just came floating by, Anansi said. I can't see it now, it must be underwater. I think Crocodile ate it. Or else he's using it as a toothpick. I better get it back before he breaks it. Hyena leaned over the water and said, Hocus Pocus magic stick, no more magic, end of trick. Abra, canabra, cadabra. The river stopped flowing leaving behind a wide lake. What are you going to do about this lake? The animals asked. There's nothing I can do, Hyena said. The lake is here and here it stays. You'll have to learn to enjoy it. So they did. The animals built new homes on the lake shore. They swam, jumped, and played in the bright blue water. But someone was missing. Where was Anansi? Did the flood sweep him away? Did he tumble over a waterfall? Poor Anansi, the animal sniffled, wiping away their tears. We'll never see him again. They were wrong. Anansi was far away on the other side of the lake, floating along in his new houseboat, sleeping all day and planning new tricks, which is just what Anansi does best. The end. Check it out. Do you see what I see? There's the guy that was in the river with the pencil behind his ear. And there's the lady that was in the river with the paintbrush between her teeth. That is a picture of the author, Eric A. Kimmel. And that is a picture of the illustrator, Janet Stevens. That's when they put themselves in the picture. The... And I like that story about a little bit of magic, Anansi and the magic stick. 
I hope that you have a magical week and that you come to Alamosa Public Library if you live somewhere close and pick up a magical project pack where you can make your own wand and you can do a, a mixing science project to create a pretend potion. But remember, you're going to do it with a grown up. That's right. Always make sure you're using safe ingredients. Well, this has been fun, and I will see you next time. See you later, alligator, in a wild crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, sweet baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly, goodbye. Psst. be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Ooh, just one more thing. If you are participating in Alamosa Parks and Rec's Weekends on the Rio Passport Program, you can count story time as one of your stamps. Also, you could extend your story time fun and go outside into one of our local parks or just into the yard around your home and you could play Anansi and the magic stick. Someone in your family could be the magic stick and you can be Anansi the spider and Anansi could say, magic stick, magic stick, sand on your head, quick, quick, quick. Or you could say, magic stick, magic stick, weed the garden, quick, quick, quick. And you could have some story time fun outside.